Hi there, my name is Dan Bessa C. Litboot, DC Litboot for short. Welcome to my channel. And welcome back to Ratatouille Part 14. Ah, oh, the music of France can make even the deepest of sewers come to life. Nice. As you can see, dartboard, bubble machine, radio. All we need now is some lights to turn this place into an underground discotheque. Look at what the light bulbs have transformed the sewer into. Your own city of lights. Great. Kind of a shame that only the rats can see it, really. This is the fruits of our colony mission side quests, as we've been travelling around the alleys of Paris, the kitchens of Gusto's restaurant and, and the marketplace, assisting our rat friends with their food heists. And all this is leading up to the very last stage of the game, which we will go to in a minute. But first of all, I'd like to take this opportunity to look for those remaining missing stars still hidden in the sewer. There seems to be a there seems to be a barrier here. I wonder what happens if I put a bottle of sauce down there. <laughs> the barrier looked awfully like a piece of scenery, except for the fact that it was glowing like it was interactable. I can't give it to me. Great! What's about that? Three stars. <laughs> Pretty really it wasn't all of the stars. There's still two to find. Some time later. Just a minute, just a cotton picking minute. There's a couple of gold stars here that I missed earlier. Well, in fact, I didn't really miss them as such. I was going to get them, and then Django hijacked me for the uh, market raid. Well, that completes the gold star challenge in the sewers. And so, onwards to the final level. What's Django up to here? What's he concerned about? The other humans have cleared out. You gotta get in there and help your friend finish this meal, and we're gonna help you. The last thing we want is to lose this restaurant and its wonderful food supply. When it comes oh, to yeah. cooking, I'm always ready. <laughs> that human's still here, and he's completely mad. You're gonna have to find a way to get him out of here. How about the bathroom? Okay, Dad, don't worry, I can handle this. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a snag. I mean, in terms of the movie, all, all the, uh, the the kitchen staff cleared out after it came out that Linguini was using a rat to help him cook his uh, special meals. They didn't like that, and uh, for some reason they all cleared out. Only collectors uh, come back to help. Poor Linguini. The other chefs seem to have left him to complete their dinner rush alone. But one chef's crisis may be another chef's opportunity. You must help him, Remy. Are you ready? So it would appear that Chef Skinner is all, all but too eager to see Linguini ruined. Uh. Let's see what we have to do here. Big weenie? Yeah, we're on the case, so we'll, we'll help you out. So then we pick up where I'm supposed to, uh, supposed to go. It appears that there's a, a dream world here. Sausage Sennelligan. The possibilities are endless here. Another one of these, um... What do they call it? Another one of these meat levels. I wonder how he's, um, safely landing on his cocktail sticks without praying his bum. They look a bit sharp to me. Well, shish kebab sticks, either way they still look sharp. Thank you. I hope it's not... 
I hope this, this, this one is not going to give us a lot of trouble because the, uh, the last meat level I am with that, I had to repeat several times in order to get through. Yeah. Whoa. These bugs are a bit hazardous. Um, I'm trying to uh, get a clear opening here. So a tunnel of sausage. So a tunnel of sausage as you go. Oh yeah, and uh, these rotisseries were, has a, were a pain as well, due to how slippery they seem to be if you land on them at an angle. Whoop. Um, now where do I go? On, on, onto that fork. Oh yeah. Ah. I didn't know, did I? Oh, just made it. Food is nice. Good. Food is most definitely good. Nice grab, Remy. Ooh. Use that fork here and wait for it to go around. Thanks. Ooh. This is this is this is blooming dangerous, this is. Oh, this is this thing's not bad enough. I've got a sharp fork now. Party fork. Ease on this kind of thing. Oh, thank God, that part's over. That was, that was scary. Disorienting. Oh dear. Another rotisserie. Thank you. Ah. See with it, Remy. Oh, is that a... Wait, what's that? What's over there? The side path. Take us <coughs> over the top, All right. and over the other side. And now what? Well, that was a bit. Ah! Hang on a tick. Why are the flying fudge balls and I do that? At least I know where I'm going, where I'm going this time. Just cross over that big meat and uh, get out of that state. Whew. Here we go. Now, the end's over there, right? Because I just jump out on these fish slices. Done. 
Yes. Good work. That was a scary level, but not too difficult. Anyway, let's play on for a while. We've got a bit of time. <laughs> Those crazy lobsters are now exploding pots. <laughs> Unfortunately, exploding lobsters is about all I can deal with. There's also a number of hard shelled crabs and boxes that had to be hit with spoons, but uh, at this stage, unfortunately, spoons aren't available because in this area there are main mission plot coupon. They don't appear until later on. So all I can do for now is to just move on to the main mission. <coughs> we gotta get rid of that human. Okay, but how? Hey, lower him into the closet. Once he's there, we'll lock him up. <laughs> Somehow. Skinny may be crazy, but he's not a fool. Not all humans dislike us, Git, but this one does. Mm, that's for sure. Now, how are we going to get to get him there? Now, just how far are we going to get this guy out of our hair? Or fur, or whatever. Mm. Uh, drop pile of plates on the ground to grab Skinner's attention. Mm. And activate the uh, polishing machine. Lock him in the closet. I see. If you get up there, I'm going to need to pick up a can and uh, create myself a little uh, stand. That takes care of him and. Now I'm gonna get past that annoying little that annoying lobster in, in the pot. It doesn't seem to appreciate it about the fact that there's a walking sieve crossing over this this spilled sauce, whatever it is. Give it a rest. Do you mind, lobster? I'm trying to get away from Skinner. You're just, uh, you're just making things unnecessarily complicated. Shall, shall grab Skinner's attention? Now where do I? Over that way. Watch out for the trap. Nice. Up there, huh? There you go. Come on. Up here, up here, jump. Oh. It's not that difficult. You just have to grab on the side of the cross and climb up the, on, on the uh, unattended hob. That's very, uh, that's very dangerous. Who does this guy think he is, Eggman? Eh, With his flailing arm and his moustache thingy? Anyway, let's get down and knock this place off. It's, it's a good one, it's a just generic base, not some kind of priceless family heirloom. Ugh. Oh dear, we got a little bit of a job to get away from here. Now we go. Uh, looks like we're just gonna have to make a run for it. Now where do we go? 
Into the cupboard we gotta into the cupboard we go. There we go. Now we gotta figure out how to get up there. Yep, you gotta handle the right. Now we just gotta get onto that spouty sardine tin and uh, swing our way over to the Oh dear. What kind of what, what was that, goodness sakes? That's the way. Now, um, we somehow get onto this thing. There we go. <laughs> Good work, Git. I'll keep him quiet for a while. Well, I reckon we'd better pause there for the time being, but I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, by all means, like, share and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Cheerio!